All right. Hello. Um, I'm back. The car is put back together and I had it going. Um, I just wanted to give an update and an apology uh, because the last video in the series for instructions uh, was incorrect. And that's actually why I blew my head gasket. So I had to trim the video. If you have seen the video before, you'll notice that it's shorter now. I took out the section where I talked about the tune. Um, so I guess what happened was I, in the original video, I told, I told y'all, all two of you to, uh, use this connection, the OBD2 connection, plug it into the port under the dash and upload your tune that way. Well, that is incorrect. As I found out, um, I blew the head gasket, uh, and I redid everything. It was, it, it worked out okay because I got ARP stuff. I got a fresh head gasket. I got a rebuilt head cause I had a trash cam and all kinds of stuff. So it was good that I rebuilt the head. It was very expensive though, but, um, come to find out when I started the car back up, I still had a misfire and I had no idea what was going on. I was really confused. Um, shut it down. I was ejected. Uh, I didn't know what to do. So I, I just emailed active auto work like, Hey, can you like, can you read my tune and make sure that it got uploaded correctly? And the first thing the guy asks me is, did you install the tune using the port under the dash? And I was like, yeah. And he said, don't do that. Um, so the tune never actually took to my car. What you're supposed to do, they ship you the adapter, which I thought was for, I thought they gave us this just for OBD1 cars, which is not true. You actually have to use the 20 pin connection here. And I have a 96, so I have the, uh, I have the S52. And you, uh, you use this port here to, uh, to tune it. So, um, hopefully nobody took my instructions to heart, uh, last time because they were incorrect and it resulted in a about a $3,000, $4,000 mistake uh, with the rebuilt head and all the tools I had to buy and everything to get it done myself. Um, and about a year of the car not running because it was just sitting for a while. So an unfortunate mistake, but I think a good learning experience for me since I'm new to all this. But yeah, make sure you use the, uh, the 20 port connection. Um, I don't think I have anything else. The car is running good now. Uh, I just autocrossed it yesterday. Uh, it ran fine. I, uh, it has a lot of lifter tick. I don't think I overfilled the oil enough. Um, cause after the first run, it was really, really noisy and I was kind of worried, but I quickly Googled and said it was pretty normal after autocross. So next time I'll, uh, I'll overfill the engine a bit and hopefully that helps. But, um, it ran well, it's running smooth. Uh, I'm not running it hard. It's actually really quiet. Everything runs really smooth in there with the new lifters and everything. Uh, and I haven't had any more problems. The only other issue I had really was the uh, tra this traction control cable broke. I should have just gotten rid of it in the first place. And if, if you're building this, or if you're going to build this and you're doing this as like research, you're looking at these videos for like research, um, I would just get try and get rid of the ASC if you have it. Um, because the, 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 the throttle body just seems to get in the way of everything. This whole area um, becomes a huge pain, pain in the butt to work on just because of this throttle body. So I would, I'd recommend just getting rid of it altogether. But um, I haven't had any other issues with it. So uh, despite all the stress that it's given me, the kit when it's working works really well and it is so much fun to drive. Holy crap, I had a blast at autocross yesterday. Maybe one day I'll take it to the track. I don't know. But uh, Maybe in the future I'll have more updates for you all, any more builds. I think the next thing for the car is probably cosmetic stuff, like refreshing cosmetic stuff, give it a detail, you know, fix some of the rattles on the interior, and then um, brakes maybe. I'm looking at either getting a big brake kit, which are really expensive, I mean, that's another 4K, or um, the, I saw Turner has some, like, E30, E46 M3 upgrades. Because I'm still on stock brakes. I don't know if those rotors are stock. I'm not sure what those rotors are. But um, I'm going to do something with that. Maybe give myself some stronger brakes. And then probably go through the suspension. Maybe belt up the R tabs, which would be good for a supercharged car. I don't know. If you all have ideas, let me know. But anyway, all this to say, make sure you uh, tune the car correctly. Otherwise, you're going to be blowing head gaskets and running ton of timing advanced or uh, ignition advanced i guess they would say but anyway as always drop me a line if you have questions thanks